My intention was to put to rest the idea that Alice Shilley was a local artist who worked in a vacuum. She's good, but she wasn't anything major. I wanted to show that she was, and I wanted to show who she was. She wasn't just exhibiting, but she was influencing and setting a tone and bringing new things to the table. And to do it with my dad, whose research over the years has contributed to this, who inspired me. He picked my curiosity by having this kind of lingering question of like, what is the real story? She's winning the gold medal for watercolor in Philadelphia, in Chicago, and in San Francisco. Why is she not in any books? If you're basing your judgment off of books that you read, and these women are not in these books, then it's our generation's job to put the women in the books and to rewrite them. Alice was born in Columbus, Ohio in 1869. She was the third of six children. Her father ran a successful pop company called Chili Pop. She attends the Columbus Art School with the encouragement of her mom. And after graduating, she becomes a faculty member there. The school was founded in the 1870s by a group of women to provide an opportunity for women to study and work in the field of fine art to give them a profession. And in many ways, Shilly sets the example of the success of that mission. She teaches for several years. And then she decides, you know, I really want to further my career. The way to do that is to get to New York. I just have to get to New York. And the Art Students League was where artists could go women and men in the same studio space. It was this amazing mesh of artists. And this was really her first trip outside of the state. She talks about the big step to get on the train in New York and her mother's worried about all these crazy things and she says, well, I'm, I'm going anyway. And she said, I wasn't supposed to talk to strange people. And she said, I started talking to people as soon as I got on the train. Had a really nice time. She was fascinated instantly, and in many ways, this fascination spans her lifetime. She travels all across Europe. Egypt, Morocco, Mexico. It's really incredible the amount of places that she went, often traveling alone or occasionally just with another female painter. <laughs> 